Well, hello and welcome to uh, today's video. Uh, I was out shooting some wildlife photography today. Um, I actually kind of missed the shots uh, that I had. A uh, fairly epic scene of some aerial combat. Uh, unfortunately, I was standing just a little too far away. Uh, the sun was in the right location. Uh, the birds were uh, in the correct position. Uh, as relative to the sun, um, like everything was right except for uh, I was uh, I was probably 15, 20 yards too far away from the action, uh, unfortunately today, uh, and that that happens. Uh, you can do all your prep and your research, but sometimes, you know, there there is that little bit of luck that has to come into play, and and there again, that's why you have to keep revisiting these spots. Um, but you've, you've definitely, uh, doing wildlife photography, you definitely become kind of a, uh, you know, kind of an amateur biologist because you've you got to study the animals, right? You've got to get to know the animals or the birds and you've got to kind of understand their habits. Uh, and, and that's, that's how you get these images. It's not by accident. While, well, it does play a part, I'm not saying it doesn't, but it's not a big part. Um, really, uh, you know, perseverance. Uh, not giving up, uh, knowing your subject, and uh, while wildlife photography uh, is more demanding on your gear than any other type of photography, um, it's still not the most important thing. Uh, that's for sure. So, but I digress. Um, I will uh, post the images right after this section of the video that I got today, uh, and then we'll get into the meat of the of the video and the actual why I'm wanting to post this video as we're uh, coming to the end of the year here and just kind of go over my thoughts on the overall state of photography. So uh, check out these shots I got today, uh, which I won't know what I got until I get to the house and actually look at them, but hopefully I got some uh, and uh, you'll see them now. So if we made it back to the office, I've had a chance to review my photos. Um, I'm, I'm pleased with the results. Uh, I did manage to get a, a few shots uh, this afternoon or today. And uh, like I said earlier, I just wasn't really close enough to get the uh, the shots that I was really really after. Uh, the opportunity was there. Um, I was in you know fairly close to the right spot. I was just fortunately I was just standing maybe like 15, 20 yards too far away. Uh, but you know that happens sometimes so you just gotta keep going back and uh, you know hopefully you'll get the shots you're looking for uh, and just don't give up really uh, and now to the actual reason I'm making this video I just wanted to give my thoughts on the current state of photography which I think is in a really good spot if you're an enthusiast uh, or like amateur hobbyist photographer I think this is a great time to be in photography we've got all this great technology uh, coming out we've got uh, all these great lenses uh, as far as used gear goes that's available available to us now that uh, allows us to create like capture these great images uh, and not have to uh, kind of get a second mortgage on the house uh, uh, to do that um, now the professional photographer scene I think that's a little different I think we're gonna see uh, that get even smaller than it already has uh, you're still gonna need photographers for wedding uh, people are still gonna uh, that's gonna be a, a skill that people will want right um, I think there's gonna be a need for uh, like uh, uh, you know kind of like corporate uh, like business uh, shots for ads 
uh, there that's definitely going to be a thing I think real estate photography is probably uh, going to develop even more than it already has uh, and I also believe that uh, you're going to need you know as far as portrait goes I think you're still going to see a lot of like engagements uh, like senior portraits and beyond that it's probably going to be a lot of corporate headshots for like LinkedIn um, now that's not necessarily bad right there's still opportunity to become a professional photographer if that's what you're wanting to do uh, but really uh, I just wouldn't advise getting into photography right now uh, as a career goal unless it's just something you you got your mindset on um, for me personally um, I just I, I love photography as a hobby uh, yes I am making YouTube videos um, and I have been paid uh, to shoot things here and there uh, but most of that, uh, the reason I do that is just to kind of help uh, supplement uh, the gear that I need to do the things like this, right? Uh, it's not a, it's not a full-time job. It's not a career. It's kind of uh, allowing the hobby to kind of support itself in a way, uh, which it, it doesn't, doesn't at all. The what little I've made uh, from photography, uh, I've spent way more on stuff than, <laughs> than what I've, uh, what I've made for sure, uh, no doubt. Um, I might looking at I might look at uh, monetizing these videos possibly, uh, and I said that's another thing uh, as far as uh, income is kind of like the influencer uh, creator income from like YouTube. Um, there there's that that is out there, uh, but the large majority of people, uh, unless you're like one of the major channels, uh, you're not getting a lot of revenue from from YouTube you're just not that that time has passed um, a lot of that is going to come from just you know sponsorship and uh, other avenues of income like uh, selling some type of physical product um, I may like I said get a link so I can get tips or something but that's uh, I don't imagine myself doing too much beyond that right now um, like I said, my, my main goal here is just I enjoy making these videos and I enjoy going out and shooting. So it's a hobby. So just my future plans of that is just staying a hobby. Um, now we're going into 2023 and um, I think, you know, it's going to be a very interesting year. Uh, there, there's a lot of exciting things coming up uh, the next uh, year or so as photography as far as gear goes. Uh, we, we get to see the Canon R1. Uh, Panasonic Leica has this new partnership. We haven't really seen uh, what's coming from them. That's really exciting. Um, there's just a lot of stuff that's happening in the world of photography uh, that uh, looks very promising. Um, and, you know, overall, at the end of the day, it's up to you what you want to shoot, right? Uh, but my advice, especially if you're just getting into photography, um, like, I've done a lot of research. I've wasted a lot of money, and uh, the best gear for the money right now is just the used Canon stuff and the used uh, Canon glass. It's so good, um, and the uh, the DSLR versions like the 1D Mark IV I picked up, the 7D Mark II, or the 5D Mark III. I think those three cameras right there um, would be excellent choices uh, depending on what type of photography you want to get to. They're professional grade. And we'll get the job done and get the job done well, right? And then won't break the bank. Uh, so right now, I think like value, um, if you're wanting to get into like for, for professional level or like results, uh, I think that the Canon DSLRs with some of the, the older Canon glass is probably the best way to go. Uh, I personally use KEH. I am not sponsored by KEH. I've used other sites and KEH is by far been the best place for me to get these gear as far as their prices um, uh, as far as the process they, they they give when you're selling your gear is really competitive especially when you take in everything else uh, in consideration on the, the other sites all the fees and stuff they they charge and the fact that uh, you know you have all these extra fees and they have great customer service uh, they offer uh, warranties and they're actually a repair shop so Definitely, if you're getting the, like this used Canon DSLRs at KEH, is like what I would personally just recommend just from using the gear. Um, but overall, you know, I just think that photography's in a great spot um, as far as 
amateur hobbyist goes. Uh, the cell phones, uh, smartphones are getting really capable. Uh, it's super nice to always have a camera on me that's as capable as the smartphones are. And uh, the technology is just advancing uh, more and more every year. And this older gear that's still super good is just getting cheaper and cheaper. Um, you know, of course, if you if you start making more and, and doing better, you can upgrade. It's not a problem. Uh, or if you just have the money to buy the new stuff, yeah, by all means, go buy the new stuff. And that's a whole other can of worms when you're talking about just brand new gear. That's a whole other set of recommendations <laughs> on that. But as far as 20, uh, the end of 2022 here, going into 2023, I believe that uh, photography is probably in the, one of the best spots it's ever been in. I think it's a great hobby to get into. Um, get you out of the house, uh, get you out off the couch, uh, out from behind the computer and out doing doing things and then exploring and enjoying the world around us. So, all right guys, I think that's gonna about wrap it up. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day and thanks for watching.